Hey, y'all, I'm Tammy, and this is Collard Valley Cooks. Today we are making Michigan blueberry pudding. We're making Michigan blueberry pudding. You're going to start with fresh berries and sugar. So for every cup of berries, you're going to use a third cup of sugar. So I've got two cups of berries, which is a pint. And it's really good to double this recipe, but I didn't want to cook that much pudding because me and Chris won't be able to eat it all. So I'm putting the sugar on top of the berries, just like this. We're gonna turn this on and we're gonna cook these. And I'm gonna mash these a little bit. So you're just gonna mash your blueberries just a little bit. And once they warm up, they're gonna be a lot easier to mash. So this is gonna be a syrup when we're done. And it's going to be really good. So I think you're going to really like this pudding. So let's just let this heat up right quick. And then we'll come back and you're going to cook it for about 15 minutes. So you're just going to mash it and cook it for 15 minutes. All right. Now once these get warm, you're just going to continue to kind of smash them. You're going to turn it down to a low temperature so it don't turn into candy. You're not making a sucker. You're just making syrup. So you're going to leave it on a real low temperature. And you're also going to want to make sure that you're using a non-stick saucepan or skillet to do this. So that it's real easy to clean up. You're going to cook this 15 minutes. Alrighty. We've got white bread. And I am just going to trim the edges off of it. And I'll feed what we don't eat to the chickens. I don't typically buy white bread, but I bought white bread for this recipe because that's what it calls for. And of course, you can use whatever bread you've got. But the good thing about using this bread is it's thin, like you should have for this recipe, because it's making a pudding, not bread pudding. And you want it to be, um, you want it to fit in your loaf pan as well. And you're just going to want to make sure that two pieces of bread cover the bottom. I've got a little bit on the edge that I might have to trim some to really cover it good. Like that. So you're going to want to cover the bottom with your bread. Now you're going to butter it generously, it said. So make sure you got some room temperature butter because this white bread is soft. That's pretty generous. Get this little piece buttered. I think I turned that the wrong direction. And by the time you get this buttered, your syrup is probably going to be ready. Go ahead and butter all your bread. And I may have to cut up a little bit more, and that's fine. So what really matters is what size the pan is you're going to use that really determines how much bread you need. And you want it to be at least two layers in the pan. I may have to trim these. I'm sure I will. All right. I think that's a syrup. We're going to make our pudding. Okay. Now, it told you to spoon it on there with a measuring spoon, but I'm just going to pour it on there. So the first thing it said is that you're going to put a little bit in the bottom of the dish. Now the dish needs to be sprayed. So let me spray it. I don't think I've sprayed it yet. I mean, this is going to be sugary. So make sure you spray the bottom good and the sides. Okay. All right. You put a little bit of sauce in the bottom. Start it off. Then 
put in your bread. So cover the bottom with your buttered bread. And then once you do that, you put some syrup on it and you just keep layering it like that. Put a little bit on each piece of bread. Spread it out. It already looks good, don't it? Now, my butter is salted, and I think it needs to be. If you don't have salted butter, then put a little bit of salt in your blueberries when you cook them. So if you were to double this, you would probably use the whole loaf of bread. I'll just go ahead and tell you that. Or really close to it. I'm going to get it all out of this. Make sure I get every little bit of syrup I made. I'm interested to try this. I've never seen it before. I was going through recipes and I thought, you know what? I want to try that. Michigan blueberry pudding. Boy, let's give it a try, huh? All right, y'all got my tickle box turned over. Had to take a break for a second. All right, this is going in the oven. It's going to bake at 350 degrees. Let me see how long. I don't remember. It says to cover it and bake it 15 minutes. So I got to put some foil on top of it. I got some already cut up. I've got some cut already, so let's get this on top of it, because it says to cover it. And this pudding, you actually eat cold. But now, of course, if you decide you're not going to eat it cold, I don't think it would matter. But I want to make it just like the lady or man, whoever made this recipe, said to make it. So we're covering it up, making it for 15 minutes, and then you put it in the refrigerator and refrigerate it overnight. Then you serve it with some Cool Whip. All right, our pudding should be ready. And mainly you're just melting it. I did cook mine a little longer. So I'll let y'all see it, and then after it cools down, we'll put it in the refrigerator, and then you invert it on a plate and slice it to eat it with Cool Whip tomorrow while it's cold. Very interesting dessert, and I think it'll be delicious. Okie doke. Now this is our blueberry pudding. I'm just going to go around the edge, good, and we're going to try to flip it out like it said to. I think it might be kind of hard to. And I'm going to loosen it up under there. Or just pick it up around it like that before I try to flip it out so I'll know it'll come out. All right, here we go. There's our blueberry pudding. And now you're supposed to slice it. Very different dessert. I'm curious though to see what it tastes like. One more. I think I'll fit on there. All right, let's get a little whipping cream on it. 
Everybody likes whipped cream on their pudding. And you can tell it's just saturated in the syrup. The white bread is really soft, so all that syrup gets down in there, and it does make it taste like pudding. This is not like bread pudding. It's like pudding. It's very fresh. The blueberries taste good. If you like blueberries, you're going to like this dessert. It's super different. So if you've got company coming over and you want to make something really different for them to try, this is a something different. And what I like about it is you're using your loaf bread. You could use your leftover loaf bread, actually. And you could also use some fresh berries. This time of year, the berries are going to start coming in. They're going to be on sale. This is a great little dish. It's really good. Chris may not have the same opinion. Yeah, it's nowhere near as strong as I thought it would be. What do you think about it? You think people would like, like it? it? You do like it? Yeah. Would you have me make it again? For, um, yeah, I mean, it's good to me. It's a, to me, it's like a, like a jelly sandwich. But it's... Uh, blueberries. Yeah, way less bread. Right. I like it. You know me, I don't even like blueberries all that much. And you like it? So it's good enough I keep wanting to eat it, that's for sure. So what I want to know is if you're from that area around Michigan and you grew up eating this dessert, please let us know in the comments. I would like to know if it's common or not. I didn't see a lot of these recipes when I looked it up, so I'm not sure how common it is. But just let us know. And we thank you for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Love ya. Bye.